Hi Scorpio, welcome on my YouTube channel, Desk Beauty Master of Scorpio. Welcome for this love reading until the end of October 2023. So this is the last love reading I will do until the end of October. Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all placement that you have in Scorpio. This is your channel, this is your reading, Scorpio. Um, I, um, I suggest also to not force this reading if it's not your reading, Scorpio. Take what resonates, uh, leave and what doesn't. If you want to have a prayer reading with me, you'll find all the information on my description box below for a prayer reading. And now let's jump in. Let's see what's going on for um, for the love one, love reading. And um, this is um, all general love reading. What you love? It could be romantic, could be children, could be home, could be whatever, family, friends, wherever you love. This is your reading, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. My love team, please give me for my Scorpio until the end of October. Trying support and uh, inspiration and the fourth house, home and family. Okay, trying. These are trying. So trying are the most beautiful um, yeah, synchronicity on astrology, um, Scorpio, fourth house. Uh, it's where you feel home, where your heart space is at home. And underneath, here we go with Pluto. I don't know if you have in the fourth house uh, Pluto or is trying right now Pluto in your fourth house. But anyway, this is uh, trying something here with Pluto that will bring you, it's like a transformation, uh, Scorpio. But also with Pluto, we have to die first, metaphoric, to rebirth. We have to... Um, to do something here special to regret to our power, Scorpio. Um, trying, it's now like finally, this is now coming out from a darkness, probably that you had to die a couple of times, again, metaphoric, to get rebirth, and this will lead you to your love in your home, in family, but once again, where you feel home, Scorpio, where really you feel home, okay. But also to, to see what you have around you, Scorpio, that, um, how you call that, how, when you are really ready to know who is with you, who is against you, who you want to separate off, and with, with who, uh, with what you want to move forward. All right, let's see. Give me, please, I put now an uh, oracle, uh, romantic, that, uh, what? Romantic Oracle card now for this shrine and fourth house. My love team. Give me this shrine and fourth house for my Scorpio until end of October. Give me another one. All right, thank you. Calling your soulmate, code abandons. And if it's, it's safe for you for love, to love. Underneath honeymoon, okay. I think here with the Pluto, it's exactly what I tried to tell you, um, Scorpio. It's called abandoned. Um, I don't know where you have Pluto in your chart. Go check, please, on your natal chart. But also now, where are the transit? Where is right now Pluto? Um, this is like uh, free, 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 free yourself from codependence in all manner, in all section of your life to, to know that what you what you're ending right now, it's coming forward to rebelieve on something that you really, really want, where you feel home. But it's, sa it's safe for you to love. Uh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy for all. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation and visualization helps bring you together. I think here, Scorpio, if I mean, from the um, Pluto's perspective, we have, we have that on um, in Scorpio perspective, we have Pluto in our third house. The way we communicate what uh, people, they are telling us what they're trying to manipulate from our speech or how we, um, how we think, how we interact. This is Pluto third house. So, but it depends in your, from your rising perspective, where you have also Pluto. For example, I have in my seventh house Pluto. This is partnership, relationship, everything which is by one on one. This, this has changed my, my entire, entire uh, perspective with other people. Uh, what I have one on one on relationship. And calling in your soulmate, 
yeah, calling in your soulmate, you have to detach something that you, uh, and now, especially now the Pluto, it's in the last degree of, uh, of Capricorn Scorpio. This is not like the last one. So you did all your homework since 2008, Scorpio. You have, we have Pluto since 2008 in our third house, or depends, like I said, in your rising sign. Go check, because these two houses are very important for who doesn't know uh, astrology. And with the calling in your soulmate, I think that you had to learn something with the code abandoned, uh, Scorpio. Um, and now this trying that now until the, uh, until October, uh, Saturn also will try, for example, Mercury and uh, the Sun uh, is like an open, open of everything. This is very, very nice. It's like you got now your point, probably you were also code abandoned, uh, Scorpio. And now it's like, you cannot manage, but you don't have all the power, the control power over something, and now to let it go. Like the release, and you will see um, what we'll bring to you. All right, let's see. I start now with the reading Scorpio. And of course, then I do also for the another energy, if you're dealing already with someone, or a future of someone, okay? Let's start. Give me please for uh, my Scorpio. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Page of uh, Pentacles, Death, Five of uh, Cups, Justice, and uh, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles on the knees. You have very significant cards, Scorpio, on the, on the table. I have to say that. For sure what you don't want anymore, it's um, immaturity, but um, it's, still, it's still something here that you want to learn of. Could be also mistakes you did, or you're doing sometimes, you're saying, why, why are we falling there all the time? Something like that, like why, uh, why are we uh, refill? refill there um, with death here on the center you show me that um, again Pluto death it's Pluto it's you are you are dying right now metaphoric to rebirth to not make a, again as a mistake here um, sometimes it's uh, hard to understand what you pulled off from something or someone Because you tell me, mm, it's like I, I try a lot and I try very hard. Try harder, Scorpio. Or you know that you have to try harder. Um, like look around you, look around you what you are in. You know the focal point of where you are. Look a little bit around you guys, where you find your, yourself with. Uh, everything what you need to understand we, we will come um, very very like natural with justice there but also with temperance uh, I don't see yet a big love situation but it's something here that you really believe on but it's like I'm ready now to proceed I want to do it I don't know for some of you it's also online dating somehow or like you tell me I don't believe so much on online if it you if you're if you're thinking about to go online dating or to do something that you ne never did before, try. If it's something like that. Because probably in the past you told you tell me that I never do I never will do that again. Mm. Don't never say never say never again. No, never say never, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Give me the six of wands for the aura energy. Wheel of Fortune underneath, Seven of Swords, the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. A La La Land here. 
you tell me also that you're saying, I believe on my dream, I still believe on my dream, but not the way I did it before. Something like you say, I don't want to do it anymore like that before. But what you see also that um, you're starting to see that if you still believe, you still will get it, but this time around different. Now this is, is uh, it's weird to uh, tell you that Scorpio. Like, for example, on the past, I don't know, you, you wanted to have something very specific into your life. You were very, very transparent there. Very like, I want it, this is it, this is what I want. Now it's something here that you're saying, I will do it, but different. Like something with strategic or strategic style. I don't know why. Why you tell me that? It's something, I will do it, but different. No, I don't want to do it like so clear, like on the light of the, the light, the light of the day, no like that, but different. So you tell me here something with strategy. If it's not strategy, it's like a different of organization, but I don't know about what yet. Because you still tell me I still have faith. I still believe on that. I will do different. I will move myself different. And with the Jupiter on the knees, with the Wheel of Fortune, feels here that this is working out. It feels here that this will work out. I don't see that this is deceptive or the seven swords is deceptive, but the way you tell me, it's like this will provide myself to protect myself, but this time around I will do it different than before. Okay, <laughs> let's see what. Give me please the, um, the seven of wands. The Queen of Pentacles, seven of cups and the knight of Pentacles. Give me the the page of pentacles chariot on the knees uh ace of cups eight of cups and the three of pentacles you are relaxed you're really really relaxed until uh, the end of october i see you relaxed here but it's like, I don't, it's not in my power anymore. It's weird, it's almost like something like, you know, something like that I'm reading for yesterday, that I uploaded yesterday. I feel more relaxed, but because I know that it will come anyway good. But I don't know, still, I don't know what. Because you're saying, if I release something that I, I don't want anymore, I don't get my power. I will detach from this situation, from this person, but I know something better will come on my favor. It's, it's, it's weird to exp to let you uh, explain, Scorpio, how I can put that. Wait a second. Let me let me see if I can explain that a different. Something here that you tell me, Scorpio. <clears throat> For luck, I don't have it anymore. You know, when you don't have something like you're saying for a purpose of time, for a person of a time of my life, I had or I were dealing with that. Now, I don't know about what, could be, could be friendship, could be a teamwork, could be something or casual, casual dating could be also, like you said, could be also love. It doesn't feel that way, but let's see, it's someone that you know. I had to deal with that. Now I'm so glad that I'm detaching because I don't have to deal anymore with that. I don't have to deal with something that I wash my hands and I'm so glad that I have to deal with that. You know what I mean? Because having here the chariot, you show me, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. I don't, but you're detaching something like, or it's like you tell me, almost like, poor energy, poor person, or I feel sorry for someone else because they're taking now my, my, uh, how you call that? My, wait the second Scorpio is coming. They're taking now my, wait, how you say that? My, they're taking my position now. They're taking now my position and I know what, they have to handle now with. You know what I mean? Like, 
Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for them. For example, for, I just give an example so you know what I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio, because it's tricky to explain, that's why. You are in a job that you don't like anymore, and you say, you know what, I don't want to stay, stay here, I know I can provide for better, I try hard, now I try harder to detach from them, but you're very relaxed. And you're saying, when I'm detached and I release, I'm fight, um, I fight again, or I'm going to quit um, this job, the person that will re uh, replace me, I don't want to be in their position. You know, it's like, I know what I leave because I'm going to look back. So it could be also a person, it could be also a person uh, or a relationship. You say, <clears throat> I detached from them, I totally detached from them because it could be also codependence, like it's a release. And you say, I detaching, but poor energy, poor person uh, that will re uh, replace my, my position. And it's a free, a big free for you. It's, it's a free in yourself. And somehow you feel somehow sorry for a person that will replace your position. On, on, I don't know, it could be also a relationship, of course. You know, you, know what you, you know what you leave. You know exactly what you leave behind. And you're excited, I saw the first uh, the cherry, right? And you're excited what will provide for your future. Because you know you leave something that is not in your mirror. You cannot mirror yourself anymore with this energy or with a uh, situation. Give me that, nice. Now you ho I hope now after five minutes trying to explain you. I hope you understand now what I mean. Give me death. Uh, sun, devil, and the knight of cups, ten of wands. Uh, it's a codependent detachment here. I think here, Scorpio, because like I said before, right? You have here the codependent. Um, it's like never again. They can come Again, could be a relationship, but could be also a situation or could be also a job. I don't know. Could be also a family member, a friend. I have no idea. You know that someone is trying to give you the, um, the, tree, um, the, the candy and say, come on, I show you that. No, you don't want to hear anymore. You're out. You're definitely out. Um, it's, but it's also a out of codependence. Either you know what will come forward for you, but you feel that this was codependent and you free yourself. Like no tomorrow, Scorpio. Give me the five of cups for the new future. Ten of pentacles. Two of pentacles, temperance. I take it here, the temperance. Give me the justice. And then everything comes in a sudden, Scorpio. How beautiful that can be. Um, with the Four of Cups uh, underneath, you have the, for the Justice, you have the Page of Wands, Strength, and the Star. This is amazing, beautiful thing. It's uh, a person mirrors you big time. It's mirroring you. And the same level, same position. Now, I don't know if, like, it could be also, like I said, it could be uh, something you're passionate with a job, or it's a new career that you are passionate with, where you love, or you want to be relocated, but it's, or this could be also a person next to you. Um, it's like exactly the mirror. It's no doubt, Scorpio, this is the mirror of uh, be destined. This is something destined. The only thing, it's... Um, you are a little bit, just a little bit concerned about your uh, future with sharing your time with. Because I will see you extremely busy also, Scorpio. Busy, but also um, you're all over the place or you, I don't know how many things you will do in the near future, but you know, when you're saying, I have so much time and where I can have, where I can have my free uh, time. I want to also spend free time with myself or with sharing a person. Scorpio, listen, if it's a job, wherever where it is, or it could be also a new partnership or a partnership, a love relationship, they will understand. So don't go there ready to saying, yeah, but wait, I don't have so much time. Okay, it's okay. 
Don't feel guilty about that. Because it's an energy here, it's a big mirror. It's a mi mirror, mirroring uh, your energy. This is amazing, Scorpio. It's amazing. Give me a temperance for the possible outcome. Ten of Swords on the Knees, Eight of Pentacles, Death and the Knight of Wands. Exactly this is what I'm trying to tell you. You have twice death, and which is Pluto. You're saying, I don't want never again falling codependent, never again feel independent on someone or something. I'm out of there. So don't worry about that. Because it doesn't mean that you have to fight against, because like I said, if what you learn, you learned already. So now you are like... Uh, going now with the flow what you can receive so you are ready for receive because you coming from the ten of swords on the knees that you're saying just i know what i went through nobody will understand in the, uh, nobody can understand if you don't go first through this and and you don't have to explain that to no one so you don't have to um explain yourself which it's, all, it's also okay because we Pluto we are uh, ruled by Pluto so who better than us knows how we can uh, die and we re get birth this is uh, we are almost used to it but someone here I see here a big mirror because you say ah, but never again I'm falling there to be independent and, and you show me a little bit of time like I don't know I don't know how much time can I put, should I do it fast, should I do it slower, or should I give them the first five minutes, or then ten, or I don't know. Don't, you know, don't go there, Scorpio. Uh, don't be, because I see you a little bit, you are scared. How much time, how much about, how much about your energy you can give, how much you want to provide for them. Don't, don't go there. You know, because you're saying, I try to really balance, but also to know what is right or how much it's right to give, you will see it. That's why we just say it's safe for you to love and calling your soulmate. You do that without the you feeling that constantly. Oh no, what I'm doing, uh, an advice. And then I do for your, uh, your uh, other energy. Give me please for my Scorpio, give me an advice. Five of swords, 10 of swords and the chariot. Yeah, because uh, 10 of swords again, you see? You have twice the 10 of swords. I'll show you. And again, the temperance. You have no idea the, the, uh, the um, teachment that you gave yourself. And <clears throat> yeah, that you're saying, yeah, sabotaging too much, too much, too, too, almost to the extreme. Okay, I got it. But now with the chariot, it's like the past is past, nice time for you to move forward, Scorpio. You know, to, to stop to, again, to cry over spelled milk because. What happened? It happened. All right, now let's see for uh, your, your person or uh, another energy, what, uh, what will reply to you or how will respond to you. Let's see. And uh, I will also tell you, Scorpio, that um, from the next week, I will start the November uh, reading. And... Um, and I guess that you saw that I upload also the first uh, video for the Italian people. So thank you so much that you are not uh, complain. Like, where's my English version? <laughs> uh, yeah, because they are also part from the family, right? So we are open mind in that way. All right. Now let's do it now for your person or an energy. How we respond to you, Scorpio. My love team, please give me for this energy for my Scorpio until the end of October. Ninth house and seventh house, wow. Square, challenging. I think that this energy went through the same, probably like you did, or you, yeah, because square is challenging and disharmony. I think that this energy is seventh house, love and partners and learning and faith. Big mirror here. here. Um, could be that they have, you have something, could be also in the ninth house, could be, by the way, uh, Pisces, 
for some of you, or there could be also a Taurus. I don't know, or, but this energy here, it's really, really grounded. Grounded, but faith. And very loyal. This energy is very freaking loyal. Because feels here, when, once that they have it, they release a square, they release the challenge. But I think that this energy went somehow almost the same like you did. But they didn't, they are not giving up. Oh, blah, blah. they are not giving up uh, hope. All right, let's see. Give me please a seventh house. <coughs> and the ninth house, my love team. For the person or energy that responds to Scorpio. Make the effort. Unrequired love. Free yourself. Somehow feels here separation. Yeah, I think that this energy is going um, th through a separation. Could be children involved, don't have to. I think in the beginning, this energy somehow it's like wanted to clear their mind, clear their, their life in, in a beautiful way, but they want to free themselves. Or they, as soon as they separate, or because they are going through a, th a separation, they're going to free themselves. Like to start over or again. Or they asking you, free yourself. You're, uh, you're, uh, you are safe with me. Okay, give me for this energy, how this energy responds to Scorpio. Four of Swords, the Star, Strength, and the Empress. Wow. Underneath the Queen of Pentacles. They have a big experience, life experience, Scorpio. I, like I said, right now probably you know this energy or you did not have the possibility to know them deeply, uh, but they're manifesting also. You're manifesting with the four sources also when you dream or they, um, they calling you or they manifesting somehow their, their love somehow or what they really want. But I feel right now it's silent or you did, you don't know this energy. I don't know why I'm picking up like that. <coughs> could be that you know this energy, could be, but let's see. With strength and the star for the current, this is, it's unbelievable. They're going right now a big healing, but also they have a lot of um, going on right now in their life. But they have, they, they are not um, afraid for nothing. They are have afraid about nothing. And uh, Empress, it's uh, very mature. I, like I said, I feel here that you guys, you marry each other like crazy. Like crazy. Give me the Four of Swords. For the, our energy, Ten of Wands. Ace of uh, Cups. Wow, two Aces and the Strength again and the Ace of Wands. Unbelievable. Like I said, the soon as they release, as soon as they are um, moving away from this heaviness that they're going through, this energy is like brand new. It's a brand new, like they have to wait another couple of minutes, metaphoric saying, to make this new beginning from them. And with the strength on the knees, it's, um, again, they are not scared about nothing. Almost like they're waiting. I don't know if it's an energetic waiting, like, the soon as this energy it's out from this hole that somehow they're coming from on the light they you see them in front of you they're ready for this this brand new beginning give me strength queen of cups king of pandios and the moon give me the star page of swords chariot Wow, the King of Cups, Two of Wands. They want the same like you do, Scorpio. That's exactly the same. Stability, love, it will give and take. Probably you guys, I don't know, when you meet each other, you go on a vacation right away. But everything feels like 
rather way, if it's not love, it's like if it's a job situation, um, Scorpio, it could be that they have to free themselves for an employee or for something. And then when they meet you, when you got the interview, you will get that and they will give you rather way, um, the stability, distrust, everything. If it's a relationship matter, it's like the soon as they release, they will give you the stability you're looking for. Um, the home or the, you know, stable. And this is, it's them mirroring you, you guys, you're mirroring each other. Because they want the same like you do. I don't know if you know this energy already or this person. I have no idea. If it's here, if you know, right now you probably are separate or you're you know, dealing to, with this energy for a long time, could be. Or is, you think like, or you never think that this energy or this person will provide for a new future or for the future or will be. Oh, this is your destiny, plain and simple. Yeah. Give me the Empress. Again, this rain, it's unbelievable. Temperance again, my gosh, it's unbelievable. Scorpio, how beautiful. <laughs> I could cry now. Empress again, temperance, strength again, and the star on the knees. So tell me if this is not destiny. And I don't know, it could be also because a new reading I saw calling your soulmate. It could be here that you're manifesting also your soulmate or you're manifesting the, you know, whatever you wish, whatever it's your dream, really dream. This energy will reciprocate. So in a beautiful manner, Scorpio, but so crazy. You know, I don't say that lightly, Scorpio, but I mean, the card, my card, you see? The mirroring, I want it with you, only with you, and you the same. But I saw in your reading, right? Like how much should I give to not be trapped again on my independence or feeling done in codependence? You don't have to worry about this energy. Heck no. You don't have to be worried about this energy. I don't know if you, you know them. I, 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 you want to know, huh? I know you want to know. Okay, let me put, let me ask first if you know really. Let me ask if you know this energy really. My love team, please give me if Scorpio knows already this energy. Give me three cards. Do Scorpio know this energy? Really? Are you kidding? Knight of Wands, yes. You have the High Priestess, Six of Cups, and uh, Three of Cups. You know this energy already. With inqui inqui in unrequired love, is there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going with the Ninth House. I don't know about what, I don't feel that this is uh, talking about this relationship with you. I think that they're going through something right now. Or they detach from you or they want to free themselves of something to make something for real with you, Scorpio. But this is a person you know. Very strong um, water sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, but this is a soulmate. Now, I don't know, but you don't know, have to be the past for five minutes, Scorpio, look more back. Or that could be also that feels so familiar when you see them. You know, for, um, love on the first sight. If it's something, or like when you see this energy, when you see this person, it's like you, you knew this, you know this person since ever. Or could be also a past life relationship. That could be also. Yeah. All right. Give me please an advice uh, for this reading for my Scorpio. Knight of Cups, again Three of Cups, are you kidding? King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Could be here that someone, somehow you, you close the door on them or they felt that you closed the door on them 
is or could be also like a miscommunication or like they thought that you were closing or they they felt like abundant from you i don't know with the king of pentacles they, this energy shows me that they already but feels like almost a day in misinterpretate your your um your message or like i, I give an example scorpio to, you know, also for this one to to know that you know that you understand what i mean i give an example i don't know the, the reason why you guys been apart or somehow the destiny didn't want to bring you back then uh together right have probably one million reason could be just give an example um they sent you a text message let's say they sent you for five five years ago or five months ago a text message uh or an email probably they'd never know or they back then they didn't know that you changed your email or that you don't see you don't, you don't have this email anymore or, or that you don't have this uh, phone uh, number anymore they try they never they never get in touch with you because that destiny back then was not the right moment or there could be also that you had for example you get a part i don't know about what why and they said um they gave you something or they, or they text you or they came to you on your home they knock on your door i don't know for example saturday night at six they they know that you are home they you they were sure that you were home at that time they said okay if scope is not home at six on saturday that means that scope is dealing already with someone else and they give up but they didn't know probably that you at six o'clock on saturday you went to the gym or you went shopping or you forgot the milk on the grocery and you went close fast buying the the milk on the grocery and they didn't find you a home you know something like that like because they're saying i try because they tell me they i try but i think scorpio it's already somewhere else or it's with someone else in another place you know something like that is coming through like to they misunderstood the interpretation about the time or i don't know for example if they send you it i want another um um how you call that um example for example they they send you a text message i don't know let's say at five o'clock in the mor uh, morning or night or in the afternoon and they you have you know for example the whatsapp you have like you don't see it it's just one um like that how you say that you see it like you receive it but you don't see it you cannot read it uh because probably you didn't have no um capacity to read the message and they thought that probably you were already with something else or that you had fun with something else someone else something like that like this and it feels abundant from you but it's like when you will talk to them, you will say, eh, what? No, I wasn't, I wasn't home because I were buying milk on my grocery. Or no, I was not there because I had an issue with my neighbor or because I had to rush going somewhere else. But, you know, it's like a miscommunication of energy, how you guys were see back then that they interpreted bad or they not interpret it right something like that i hope i understand you i hope you understand school i, <laughs> I gave and now enough uh, explanation scorpio now thank you so much for being here i uh, hope still i couldn't help you somehow a beautiful reading it's a big mirror here uh like finally you mirroring or this brings back to mirroring each other it's amazing Thank you so much, sweetheart. I come very sweet. Sweet. I come very soon with my next reading. Take care. Stay safe.